I can remember the first time I heard the word histamine. It was at a weekend in Colorado where I was learning how to cook for the GAPS protocol. GAPS stands for Gut and Psychology Syndrome. It is a protocol aimed at healing and sealing the gut. First things first, you start with bone broth. To which I raised my hand and said, mm, bone broth. I've never been able to tolerate bone broth. I've lost too many pairs of pants to my trial and error with bone broth, and it always ends in a mess. I don't want to do it anymore. Somebody at that weekend said, huh, if you can't tolerate bone broth, you should look into histamines. <gasps> that was the first time I heard the word, and that opened a floodgate. And I'm going to assume that this is a very similar story for you. Once you start to figure out a histamine piece and realizing how central it can be to your symptoms, it starts to, it's like turning the light on in a room where it's been dark the entire time. Now you can see. And that's what we're hoping to do. I'm Luca, one of the mavens here at Histamine Haven, and I'm sharing a bit about my journey so that if this is you, this may help turn the light on in the room for you so you can find your way out. So once I figured out this histamine piece, I came home from that weekend conference, dove into the research and figuring out as much as I could. Started putting those pieces together. And when I started to look back from the first 45 years of my life, at which I was at that point, then I started to notice, geez, all of these symptoms, eczema at age eight, exercise-induced asthma at the age of 11, super terrible monthly cycle cramps. My menstrual cycle was debilitating for two or three days every month. Eventually diagnosis as well of migraines, then went into H. pylori, pins and needles in my hands. They thought thoracic outlet, maybe it was carpal tunnel, but there were pins and needles that prevented me from riding bikes, playing guitar, and doing other fun things in my life. And then diagnosis of OCD, generalized anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder at some point as well, pretty high anxiety. And then chronic pain in my knees and on and on it went. And as these symptoms started to add up, I realized there was a common denominator in all of those. They all have a potential histamine piece to the picture. And when I figured that piece out, and what I could do in my own kitchen, I started to play with what were those parameters within the four walls of what I could do. Because I don't have a diagnosis. It's financially not feasible for me. But even if you don't have a diagnosis, I'm here to tell you that if you start to play with your food, it's just food after all. You start to play with your food and you feel better. How is that not a potential next step for you? And that's the kind of work that we do here at Histamine Haven. We want to meet you where you're at. And we want you to feel supported. When histamines show up in the body, the body is not feeling safe. So whatever we can do to help bolster you up and give you the pieces you need so the guesswork is done, the to-do work is clearly laid out for you, then welcome to the now lit room. Let us help turn the light on in your room and get in touch if we can be of service at any point.